hi guys welcome to today's video so in today's video we will be learning about cranes and the task executors so we will be understanding different features properties of the cranes different triggers of the cranes in today's video the screen which you are able to see now it is the complete modeling view which you will be able to see at the end of our video so please stay tuned we will be learning and creating this complete model step by step and once it is completed our model will look like just as it is looking now so the crane is basically used to transfer the material from one station to another station by lifting it to certain height so this is our crane in our flexim model you can look at it how it is visible you can change the color you can change the speeds we will see all these parameters in this today's video so let's begin hey guys welcome to the channel i4.0 this is ajay so this is our play in model window i will add source initially then we'll bring q which will act as a buffer then we will have one of the processor and we will take one of the operator so the material will flow from source to q and from q to processor so if you want to see the connections you can check on this to show connections you can make center port connection to this operator and we need to make this as used transport so for transportation uh, this operator will be used but we are going to use crane for transportation so i'll delete this connection by w key on the keyboard and then i'll connect this with s connection that is set up a connection to the q and i will make this as use transport now this operator will transfer material from this q to this processor then what we'll do is we will insert crane into the picture so we'll drag the crane inside so if you click on crane you can see all this colorful arrows basically these arrows are used to change the size of the crane so you can change the size of the pillar and columns you can change its heights and widths you can change the hook dimensions you can change the gantry dimensions so you can change all these parameters but for as of we will not change those so and then we will bring another processor at this long distance here and we'll connect processor 1 to processor 2 with connection a then we'll connect this to sync we'll bring one of the operator here here is the operator we'll make it as s connection and we'll make it for use as transport so this is our model it is ready so if i run this slowly you can check out the box has been coming out what i'll do is i'll change the inter arrival time to for the source to 1 so every one so i will run this model and you can see the crane will be utilized to transfer the material so you can see this and this 3d view also so you can see the crane travels from the top distance comes here so the timing required for a crane to do this the movements x y z can be fitted into it so now we will go and understand the properties for the crane so if you click on the crane we have statistics for the crane so we have states which are same for task executors we have all this throughput details content state time total travel then we have visuals we can change the color of the crane as per requirement okay this is all about visuals you can change the dimensions for the crane here more visuals if you go as we have seen uh, for previous task executors video you can change the 3d texture shape factors 3d shapes also for crane for crane we are having additional and it's 
own independent property window here known as crane so here we are having properties related to crane such as lifting height so 4 meter is the lift height then we have lift radius so this is the lift radius so basically the radius in which it is going to lift the part then we have travel sequence load x y then d if you check about speeds we are having different types of speeds for different types of equipments on this crane so we have gantry we have trolley we have hoist lift we have hoist drop so lifting speed you can enter dropping speed you can enter its accelerations and disaccelerations you can put in for trolley gantry speeds and accelerations and deaccelerations also you can put I'll reset the model this is just going on piling up because the speed for the gantry is lesser and the source is producing part at higher speed so you can see that the crane is bottleneck <laughs> isn't it so now on the properties they are also having frame dimensions here so you can change this frame dimensions from here then we have the capacity so you can change this capacity this capacity is related to the lift capacity so initially currently our crane is lifting only one part at a time so if you want to change that to two three five six whatever amount you can change that then we have load time and unload time these are basically the time required to transfer from processor to this hoist and then from this hoist to the processor is going to be your unload time then so here you will be confused between load and load and hoist lift and hoist drop so this hoist lift is basically the speed of this hoist horizontally on this crane so if you want to move from distance 2 meters to 4 meters it will be moving with this speed and hoist to drop is for this hoist to be traveling from the so this rope down and up movement has been controlled here with the speed and whereas load and unload us from processor to hoist and from hoist to processor so this is load unload time details then we have same break to then we have travels these details are basically hidden for crane so we cannot use that then we have pass to same all these features then we have queue strategy same as we had it for task executors we already seen in previous videos if you haven't yet uh, subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel we bring in educational materials on this channel so we bring videos related to simulation we will bring videos related to industrial engineering concepts and we are also bringing bonus videos for job openings and their standpoint into the stock markets so it will definitely help you please do subscribe to the channel and share the channel if you like the content then we have ports input output and central ports you know that we have only connected crane by a central port to the processor it's visible there and then we have triggers for cranes similarly on entry on exit on start finish on so basically these triggers are used depending on the logic you need to include into the crane so when the task is finished you can control things like send message, close or open ports. You can change the color, you can stop animation, start animation. There are a lot of features you can do in on finished task. So whenever a trigger executes, you can write a code there to uh, make something function as per requirement. So we'll, uh, we'll understand these triggers when we will be doing assignments on task executors in our upcoming videos so this is all related to the cranes so our next video will be soon coming on asrs vehicles if you have any queries related to crane 
and its modeling into the simulation model flexim do comment me into the video till then take care we'll meet in next upcoming video thank you have a great day bye